let's talk a little bit about Dynapower. Um, so you're responsible for um, the renewables and e-mobility, uh, I guess, business unit. Uh, yeah, that's right. And, and revenue, uh, drive, driving revenue for that. Can you give us a little bit of a big picture view of Dynapower and how, where that division sits? Kind of like, because from what I understand, it's a, it's a very established large player in the uh, in, in the energy power uh, sector. Definitely, definitely uh, a, a, a large competitor in this space. Um, but the company came from really small, um, you know, kind of grassroots type of type of uh, organization. Dynapower, uh, 60, 60 year old company. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, last year we celebrated the 60th, 60th anniversary of the company. And the, the, the early years of the business, we were, we were really making small volume, custom power conversion, uh, electronics, uh, primarily rectifiers and for CNI and, and, uh, mining applications. Um, we've expanded that into, uh, uh, you know, more, uh, of military and, and some of these other, um, some of these other areas, but it was mm -hmm. like me in, in 2017, um, Dynapower as a company got into renewables and it was, um, uh, through our, our very first, um, uh, bi-directional, uh, energy storage converter, um, and we are, that was, uh, yeah, 2017. We're now in 2024, we're on our fifth generation of the, uh, the, the central uh, energy storage inverter product line called CPS. And uh, yeah, it, it, we, it, our smallest is a, a 1.25 uh, megawatt variant. And then I have a two and a half uh, megawatt variant. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a great product for us um, that in conjunction with our DC coupled uh, solutions. Um, so DC to DC converters, uh, we have some really innovative approaches to coupling solar and storage together on a DC bus. And that's really, I think what put Dynapower on, on the map, uh, and, uh, and helped us, uh, you know, grow into a, a recognizable, uh, uh, competitor in this space. And two years ago, the company went through another major transition when we were acquired by a publicly traded global company called Sensata Technologies. And uh, since Ada's got us beat, they they have over a hundred years in the business and and like twenty one thousand employees, locations in thirteen countries around the world, and they do you know in around four billion dollars in revenue just in in, in twenty twenty two, uh, so you know they it it definitely uh, gave us an injection that uh, that we needed to help us uh, scale uh, at a critical time. What, what's the synergies between Sensata and Dynapower? Like, what, what are their traditional products versus? Yeah, uh, Sensata makes sensors, um, but they make sensors that go into a lot of automotive and aviation applications. Yeah. Um, and so I think the typical electric vehicle on the road has something like 20 Sensata parts in it. Uh, all of this, this like LIDAR and radar stuff uh, that we see out there for the self-driving vehicles, we have, um, all kinds of, uh, yeah, various... Uh, electronics and sensors, you know, these are, these are high volume, you know, oh. low, low cost sort of devices. And what's, you know, through, through the relationships with, with the EV industry, Sensata saw a real opportunity to, to grow their clean energy division. Uh, they acquired a, a, a smaller in, inverter company for, uh, that's primarily used in RV uh, applications, mobile applications uh, a few years before us. And then, um, yeah, they 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 acquired us uh, two years back and um, really helped uh, bring us up to a more mature level and uh, give us you know a capital injection that we we really needed to uh, continue growing and scaling. So um, yeah, it's been great to have have them uh, supporting us and uh, they've really gotten on on board with what we're doing in our culture and yeah, it's a little bit right. it's a little bit unique. I like it. Yeah, like nice, nice. 